There certainly were a handful of women, um, you know, that I met early on in VC who I really owe a lot to because they were so kind and supportive, yet firm and would give me the feedback that I needed. Um, Beth Seidenberg from Kleiner, who now has her own fund, Rowan Chapman, Sue Siegel. Um, these were women who, you know, saw, saw me sometimes flailing around trying to figure things out and still, you know, and gave me the support um, and confidence that I needed to move forward. And having those sort of role models was really invaluable. And I'll, you know, always be grateful for that. Linda Avey, who was an early advisor to Rock Health. Um, so, you know, but yes, there, there still are very few women in VC. Um, and I think, you know, I, my confidence has only grown over time. And when I was, um, you know, early on, I definitely had a lot of imposter syndrome and felt like I didn't necessarily belong, necessarily belong, or I had to really prove myself, um, where, you know, there are, there, there are ample research studies that show that women are evaluated based on what they've accomplished, whereas men are evaluated based on what their potential is. And so that puts women at a disadvantage for coming up with new things. And who was I to start a fund with, you know, very little work experience, very little healthcare experience. Um, you know, and, and I certainly heard that from some people. I had one reporter who was just so nasty and would write like just really inappropriate things. And, you know, folks like that, that made it really, there were people that made it really difficult for me um, in the beginning. And I definitely, you know, had, um, you know, a lot of fears of being caught that I was a fraud or that I was, you know, I wasn't, um, you know, eligible to do what I was doing. But at the end of the day, I raised the money. I ran the fund. We made good investments. We hired amazing people. And Rock Health is a, a complete success story in digital health. And I'm so proud of what the team has accomplished. Um, so... Yes, I faced it, but now that I'm kind of like on the other side of it, where I have proven myself, it is a completely different professional experience for me. And I now have a ton of privilege, um, both, you know, more respect, more, you know, proof that I, you know, been able to accomplish things. And, you know, I use that privilege now to call out injustices that I see in the space.